Hello. Just wanted to show you my new casing for my jammer system. It's a single head system. Uh, it doesn't use LEDs like the blinders and the ALPs, these Chinese very low powered LEDs. It uses one far more powerful head which gives far better protection, far better coverage from the, for the area. This is like the first couple of jammers were like this. You had like the ancient classic, if you like, uh, leader tech. That was a, a blind jammer, as some call it, a barrage jammer, which now would be no good. But it did successfully protect trucks, large lorries, you know, any vehicle that was put on from police leader at that time. It's, to some extent this uses the same principle and it? it uses one laser running at kind of 8 to 10 watts which fire out strips like 3, 4 or even 5 of these cheapo you know, LED 100 milliamp per LED jammer heads uh, these cases are freely available a lot of people have said to me that they like my uh, alloy, silver alloy case jammer but width is a bit you know a bit too much for some installations on these you only have to have as as with the others you only have to have the center three centimeters here exposed you can cover the rest behind trim and it's kind of it's an inch thick so it's just usually a nice fit to put behind your grill and some grills it'll actually fit in the grill if not you can just use like flexible strip you can wrap, wrap the unit with black tape if you like to protect it and you can just bond it you can bend it to what position you need and you can bond it or you can use this 3m super adhesive tape uh, these lasers are capable as i'm going to show you in the next few days are capable of 75 watts they will light a room in infrared but we're not after some kind of horrendous eye unsafe system what we're after is a low an under stress, under stress system for an about 8 to 10 watts which gives the output power of about 6 to 7 whatever ALPs or blind heads but on one far easier to hide alloy enclosure these are simpler undoubtedly these are electronically these are simpler but they do give correct jamming effects I'm going to show you this in a few days just waiting for consignment of lasers to arrive and I will show it you uh, giving the old EO2s and uh, giving a nice infrared output. As some of you guys all know, it's very hard to, to jam a lead out going close up. Uh, it's far, far easier, obviously, at eight, seven, eight, nine hundred yards. But these will do it when they're set correctly quite easily, which you won't often get with jammers. So, there we go. Uh, this is the Osram laser I use. This is an old one. I think. But this is the actual thing, it's a tiny little thing, but quite expensive, uh, but very reliable. It runs, runs, it can run comfortably over half an amp power, which I don't want it anywhere near that. It will run happily up to 0.7 amps according to the data sheet. But as I say, I'm after great output at low current and great reliability. Not, I'm not after burning the top layer off police cars paint or anything. So there you go guys, I'll put a demo on this couple of days when this, these lasers arrive from Germany or, or US But uh, I think you'll be quite impressed And they do what they say on the tin, so to speak okay. See you guys